have a look at the global economic picture, though, now, and global investing perspective with David Costa, Dean at Robert Kennedy College, who joins us now from Zurich. David, thanks very much for coming to talk to us. So I've been reading with interest your notes, and it seems that the guests we talk to at the moment fall into two camps. Either they think that we're still in this very much gloom phase and the euro is going very much lower and with it market sentiment, or they think that actually all of the negatives about Europe are now priced in and we are going to be taking off from here. Where do you fall, fall between those two camps? Well, I, I don't really believe in the gloomy story which uh, keeps saying that we are going to, uh, to see a double deep recession here and uh, all the sceptics about Europe. I think uh, we need a bit of time to see the results for the emergency package and I'm very optimistic about Europe. I think they are very good valuation at the moment. It's still a good entry point. As we have seen in the last week, uh, the market already started to recover. So I don't believe on the very gloomy picture that Europe, just because of Greece, uh, which the problem now seems pretty much solved, uh, well, at least for the short term, uh, because of those reasons, Europe is less competitive than U.S. and it's going to be a very gloom picture. So I'm optimistic in Europe and, and I still think it's a good buy. David, it's Yusuf here in the Middle East. Now we're seeing the proposed introduction of the bank levy. And you say that this will have a strong effect on the competitiveness of some banks in the U.K. How can banks in the Middle East profit from this? Is this a window of opportunity? Yes, as we have seen today, the news, some of the UK bank are, are leaving Middle East, uh, Royal Bank of Scotland, selling today uh, to a local bank. And I really think that uh, those jurisdictions, including Middle East, including Singapore, including Switzerland, uh, which offer a better environment for banks to be competitive, will be the winner in the next five and ten years. Because with no doubt, uh, uh, there is a need, especially with this market of activity, for ex experienced money managers. And Middle East can be more competitive uh, as well as other countries given the gloomy picture in terms of taxes that is coming through UK and other jurisdictions in Europe. Right, David, I want to get your thoughts on BP. You know, they're setting up this escrow account. Really depends on how you see this, whether this is a super buy, given that the stock has lost half its value, or it's still way too risky. Your thoughts on BP? Well, personally, my view is that uh, my commodity plays are uh, pretty much always to go directly into the commodity. So because I'm pretty bullish still on oil, I would rather go for an oil ETF or a commodity ETF or a broad ETF than a specific company. Because what happens, uh, it is very complicated to get the right picture of what is going to be BP in the next two years or in, on the next year or even in the next month. So for that reason, I play my bullish uh, view on the market of commodities by going directly to the commodities and not in the company. So it might be still a bit early but it might also be a good buy thank you David Costa from the Robert Kennedy College in Zurich for joining us and on the north